Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to see how we can connect a Spring Boot application with Postgres SQL database. Right. So, uh, if you have any doubt on how to install the Postgres SQL in your machine, you can refer to my previous video. I'll give you the link in the description and also uh, as a label. Okay. So, let's jump into the video. Let's start by going into Spring Initializer. I'm going to create a Maven project in Java. That's what I'm going to use Java 8. That dependencies I'm going to use web. So the normal dependencies what that we'll use dev tools. Um, I'm going to use REST, REST repository. Tells you need uh, I don't think I'm like yeah the main one is JPA that's what we are going to use we are not going to use JDBC template we are going to use JPA um, I'll use Lombok for generation the boilerplate code generation let's use Postgres driver okay I think that's all we need let's click on generate so it will generate the project for us. There we go. It will go to the folder. Let me extract it. That's extracted. Let me go to IntelliJ and import the project. Okay, all good. We got the project loaded fine. Let's start the application now. Let's see what happens. Go. It's trying to start the application. Yeah, it's failed. Uh, it is searching for the data source URL, uh, so that's where it's failing. So let's give those details because we have the PostgreSQL defined in our dependency. So if you look at here, we have a PostgreSQL the JPA we have to provide the data uh, database reference so the JPA is referring to the data source URL that does not exist in the resource let me go to the app properties and add few uh, properties here which is uh, spring the URL you can uh, find it from our admin you can just go to PostgreSQL right click properties and uh, you can click on connection and you can see it's on localhost uh, 5432 right so let's take it from there um, it's just going to see a JDBC it's a JDBC connection and we are connecting it to Postgres PostgreSQL and uh, the URL is going to be local host and 5432 that's the port right and then we are going to use the database which is here is yt demo that's going to be a use demo right and we are we have uh, the data source so with this let's see let's let's start the application let's, uh, let's restart the application again there you go the application is started Right, it's able to connect to the database and get all the details. So I, uh, JP is internally using Hibernate to connect the spring, in, like here in Spring Boot. So let's give some more details like um, the dialect that it needs to use. Like the Spring Boot uses Hibernate for JP implementation. So that's why we are providing the uh, PostgreSQL dialect create so let's say if you want to create anything uh, create a table or um, like update anything so it will all work in the way of PostgreSQL uh, through JPA so that's why we're giving this dialect that's where it is and uh, let's go and uh, create the entities so if you want to give more details that are uh, like you can uh, provide uh, Ibernet to show the details or whatever it may be or in the console you can stop that and also you can update uh, the database uh, I mean, like you can you can do a create or update the database whenever the server is restarted so all those stuff you can do here so 
So let me uh, add that property also. So far, and let's go ahead and create a new model object. It's going to be for M. Uh, let's say, let me create one for say a person. It's going to be a normal one, right? Create this, and I'll add it to a package called model. So it should be. Side. Actor. Okay, I'll annotate this as uh, data. So that way, you don't need to uh, give any getters and setters, right? And also, this is an this is going to be an entity for us, JPA. And I'll also give the table name. And the table name is going to be person. That's all it is, and I'm going to create the ID name. That's that's all I'm going to do now. I'm going to create private int. I'll give long ID and private string name. So the two fields I'm going to create. So let me go here, and I'll just annotate this as an ID. There we go, we created an object, entity, we created an entity, and we've created an, uh, we created two uh, members, which is ID and name, this is going to be the columns, and one is the ID, which is the primary key for this person. Let me go ahead and create uh, one more package, which is repository. Let me add new. So it's going to be an interface. Create an interface. Which is going to be person repo. Okay. I'm going to extend this with JPA. I'm going to annotate this as uh, rest. Okay. and there you go that's all we need so let me restart the application I started the application let's go ahead and hit this URL localhost 8080 slash person this to see what we have see here we have this eval which is person okay we have persons we see if you look at here the persons is empty right so uh, let's let's add some values to the data uh, database through a risk controller let's create one risk controller which can add value for us java class person rest person controller okay and we are going to use this as a rest controller and we will define a post mapping so now only the name of course if we hit it from here so by now it should have created uh, the table here Two. 
because we know we, um, we, we uh, start the server if that table does not exist it will create select person see it had created the table so let me go ahead here and uh, head add person it's going to be post mapping and the body is going to be it's going to be name and it's going to say and money like this send it again there you go uh, it got added let me go to database and just query this There you go we got the value updated and if you want to get the value back right so we already have the rest repository configured so you just go here and hit the url just refresh the page so you can see here there is a record in this person you can get through this person even this even through this url just give slash zero and you get there you get the complete object for that that's why we are using the rest repository here I say even like it, this way you can do um, update, delete, you can create your own methods and do it. Right. So that's all. Uh, that's all we have for um, uh, connecting Spring Boot application with a PostgreSQL. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.